Second down, 11. Keep in mind, the leading receiver here is Toby Antigua. Looking for him, but intercepted by the Bulldogs. Picked off in the secondary. Looks like Cristobal, 43 Steve Cristobal. God, what a great jump on the route. Yeah, there he is, 43 Steve Cristobal. Read the route from the strong safety. He read pass quickly, got back deep, and just read the quarterback's eyes. Big time pick, big time turnover. There's the big line. guys up front. Fada, congratulating the linebacker. Cristobal, the senior. Beatty looking to over to the sideline, and it is complete. Deontay Swinton, the senior wide receiver, second on the team in receiving, 18 yards. Well, they cleared out the right side, and Swinton comes underneath from across the field. Well, that's a nice little strike. Gets both feet in. You only need one in college, but he got them both. Nice play. Swinton preseason all big south. First, first down of the game for Gardner Webb. All right, here we go. We got one. So a positive way to end the first quarter on what was a very offensive challenge quarter here for both Gardner Webb and Presbyterian. Again, Beatty looking to throw to the right, caught up near the first down marker. And very close to the first down. Cause the offense isn't doing anything. That looked like a busted play. Yeah, a little confusion. Ball ground. is out. Gardner Webb jumps on it at the 40. And it will be Lennon Bulldogs football. Second turnover of the afternoon on the Blue Hose. That's Hayes McMath. Nothing there, and he just lost the football. Over the last four games, but today it's been Presbyterian committing the turnovers. Picking a fumble. Keeper around the left side, inside the 15-yard line, down close to the 10, as Tyrell Maxwell, backup quarterback for Gardner Webb into the game. He's more of the runner than Lucas Beatty, and that was there was no option, there was no nothing. It was just give it to 12 and watch him get around the edge. They sealed the edge excellent, and here comes the run. He's coming right into your living room. 28 yards on the carry. Big-time athlete, Tyrell Beatty. Looking to the right and intercepted. And that's how the half will come to an end. Going to go to Hallam's over the middle. A lot of red jerseys there. But just throw in the end zone. You got to take a shot. And Cristobal, I think, with the interception again. That's yep. his second of the afternoon and now five on the season. They're so good up front, they really don't have to. Presbyterian just two for seven on third down conversions. Sack from behind, balls loose. Gardner Webb's got it at the 30 yard line. Talked about they don't blitz much. They did a little there, but the interior lineman, there he is, big number 91, OJ Mao. A Buck Buchanan list potential award winner. There's the drop back, watch 91 right up the middle. He hits him so hard, the ball just comes out. What a break for the home team. Donald Bowie. Fights off the block, makes the tackle for loss and the forced fumble all in one play. And he's fired up about it. Donald Bowie, the senior out of Gainesville, Florida. Able Beatty again to the air. And it is caught. Calais Jones able to get free on the left sideline. A huge gain here for Gardner Webb as they keep the drive alive. Well, Mother Nature gets the assist on this one. The ball was thrown up in the air. The wind held it. The defensive backs never saw it. Calais Jones did see it. Watch him come back for this one. He sees the ball. He adjusts his route. Oh, he needs two scores. Got him. Cross the middle. Kenny Cook with the touchdown. And Gardner Webb on the scoreboard for the first time here this afternoon. You could see that there was no double coverage. Sean Keel Byers got beat by maybe the best route runner in the league. That was a quick touchdown to Kenny Cook. Watch this. He's looking at him all the way. There's only one receiver to look at. The other man that normally double teams against.